Discover the wonders of nature at Kakum National Park where a world of adventure awaits. Trek through the lush rainforest, marvel at the diverse flora and fauna and experience the thrill of the canopy walkway high above the treetops. Everything in one at Kakum National Park. Hello again, welcome to my channel. This is Maniki and uh, thank you for checking me out as always. If you're new here, please try and hit on the subscribe button and be a part of this family. And for those of you on here already, I do appreciate your love. Continue watching our videos, share for others to see as well. So, you've been wondering uh, how to get to Kakum National Park. Maybe you're in Accra, Kumase, Takrade, Navrongwa, Flau, and you're asking yourself how to get to the Kakum National Park to experience nature well. Kakum National Park is in Central Region and uh, I'm going to show you how to get to Kakum National Park, the fees you have to pay and what to expect at the Kakum National Park. So stay with me. Well, just so you know, the Kakum National Park has a very long series of hanging bridges known as the Kakum Canopy Walkway at the forest canopy level to provide access to the forest, which is a unique feature in the entire African continent. At 40 meters, that's 130 feet height, visitors can approach the limit and view plants and animals from a vantage point that would otherwise be inaccessible to people. I remember the first time I was in Kakum National Park, that was in 2009, yeah. As a tourism student, your first visit is intra and so we get to uh, Kakum National Park, the Carlisberg Castle and then um, the St. George's castle yeah so that's how i got to know about kakum national park in 2009 now the canopy walkway passes over seven bridges and runs over a length of 330 meters that's 1080 feet as all the tree canopies are more than 50 meters which is 160 feet in in height yes so that's a, a piece of information you need to know about kakum national park even before you decide on getting to the facility it's built with wire rope aluminum ladders wooden planks it is secured by a series of netting for safety purposes an additional viewing platform that allow visitors to climb into the canopy without breathing the canopy walkway many people cry but i have not cried before but i've seen people cry on the canopy walkway but you must be prepared to have the walk you know you walk up there before you get onto the canopy walkway and uh, it's um, a minimum of one hour you know uh, canopy walk that's a nature walk or hiking also takes like an hour to to complete there's also a tree house that accommodates people uh for campus to especially at night experience forest life due to the thickness of the rainforest and number of the fauna uh, that's the genets the leopards etc are active in the night searching for prey to feed on so we have that experience as well the tree house does provide a close proximity to the wildlife of kakum a train tour guide i always remember a train tour guide is always on the hand to take campus on the night hikes as well as sharing folklore of the kakum forest by a bonfire a very interesting scene it's an intriguing adventure and i'm going to be giving you the figures you have to pay or the amount you have to pay to experience all these wonderful goodies so there's uh, the canopy walkway there's hiking and then there's tree camping as well now if you're a student there's a much you have to pay if you're a Ghanaian, there's a much you have to pay and if you are a foreigner there is also an amount you have to pay so let me run you through quickly uh the amount of um, money you have to pay if you're a Ghanaian. so if you're a student you must um be in possession of your student id card just to know uh, that you are really a student and for early entry or late entry special arrangements can be made mandatory entry or utility fee is five Ghana cities per head grants access to use or visitor center and exhibition hall so you need to know this before you make preparations of coming to the kakum national park it's located in the coastal environment of the central region of ghana and it covers an area of 375 square kilometers so like i said early on kakum national park can be found in central region that's about it so now if you are interested in coming to film you know or take pictures professionally um you need to pay an amount of money and that is 400 ghana cities but if you're coming to video or film that is 1000 ghana cities so there's a difference photography is going for 400 ghana cities and then a commercial videography is going for 1000 ghana cities so you need to know this put this at the back of your mind before you come now let me run you through the prices for the canopy walkway 
There's adults, there's tertiary students, there's students, and there's people. So if you're an adult, a Ghanaian adult, it's going to show on your screen. You have to pay 35 Ghana cities. A non Ghanaian pays 100 Ghana cities. A tertiary student pays 20 Ghana cities. A non tertiary student pays 70 Ghana cities. And then, SHS student, you pay 8 cities for entry. Non um, Ghanaians have to pay 70 Ghana cities. And for people, CHS, child, basic, they pay 6 cities. And then, for non Ghanaians, they pay 50 Ghana cities. For the nature walking or hiking, adults, you pay 30 cities. Non Ghanaians, 70. Tertiary students, 15. Non Ghanaians 50, Tesh, um, sorry, student SHS 7 cities, and then non Ghanaians 50 Ghana cities, and then peoples, um, you pay 5 cities for entry, non Ghanaian pay 30 Ghana cities. Same for the bed watching, day 1, day 2, day 3, for Ghanaians 60, um, day 2, 80, day 3, 110, for non Ghanaians you pay 150, 260, and 400. And then for the camping and tree house, um, the tree house is going for 200 Ghana cities for adults and uh, campsite 100 Ghana cities. Children have to pay 80 Ghana cities for the campsite and then the tree house is going for 150 Ghana cities. So these are the things you need to know before you make any attempt of entering the Kakum National Park. Working hours 8 a.m. in the morning to 4 p.m. in the evening and all tours are guided with no exception. Please wear good footwear in order to, to to help you hike properly and always demand your receipt for all tour payment that's non-negotiable you need to do all these things so that you don't have any problems with any tour guide or any um i mean any other official at the Kakum national park so that's it uh if you need to visit the Kakum national park central region uh, these are the things you need to know before you make plans or preparations of coming to the central region to visit and see and walk on the canopy walkway thank you so much for checking me out to be back with another video do stay with us and don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and be a part of the family this is monica thank you very much